Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's your boy Jay with Locked and Loaded TV. Hey, look, this video is brought to you by Gideon Optics. So I talked to my rep over at Gideon and man, they respond super fast. Really, really chill in the brief conversation and they send out a package. So we're going to get straight to it. Um, they asked me, what did I think about the Omega? The crazy part was I was already looking at the Omega because I seen it on another YouTuber's page and man, it was, they seemed like they were having a lot of fun with it. So I had to check it out. When I talked to the rep, he asked me, what did I think about the Omega? I said, I like it. Then he started asking me other questions that I was like, I didn't even know it came with this many options, man. Hey, look, they give you either the single dot, the full target, and they give it to you in either red or green. Me being me, I went with green. So green is better on your eyes, just in my personal opinion. So it's easier to reset. You don't have to keep squinting a whole lot. Um, I do catch myself squinting with red quite a bit and I caught it on film quite a few times and man look I'm gonna start off by telling you I am a very honest person and I'm gonna give you my straight personal opinion and it's not gonna be a paid for thought and just give you all the whoop la like oh they're so great I'm not doing that so I'm going to keep it completely honest and keep it 100. And my personal opinion, straight out the box, it's pretty good, man. I can't even lie about that. It came together very easily. Um, I had to reach out to CH to get an optic plate because I didn't have one for this particular firearm because I don't really shoot it. This firearm has been sitting in my vault and switching between both um safes um it's been sitting for almost a year now and i've shot it a couple of times within that year but it's very minimal um my first my first experience with the firearm i i really didn't like it and i actually i shot like 10 rounds and then i put it back in the box i wasn't really the biggest fan so scratch all that when I reached out to uh, to the people over at Gideon and we had our, our briefings between emails, um, I was telling them, I said, I don't know if I want to run it on a Glock or if I want to run it on my Walter PDP. I went with the Walter PDP because I don't get it out of the safe, like barely ever. Now, I'm going to honestly tell you the truth. That's going to change. I actually carried it on Saturday, and it was actually more concealable than it was for me to carry my SIG. My SIG has a bigger platform um, module because I'm running a large uh, for my hands. And I will honestly say the Walter PDP was easier to conceal than my everyday carry SIG. I will say that. But um, I don't know if that's going to change, but... We'll see. We'll see what the future may bring. All right. So, like I said, we went and spoke with them, with Gideon, about the Omega. And, man, this thing is nice. So, let's just show you the firearm. You know, I'm not going to give you a whole bunch of suspense. We already been talking for a couple minutes. Hey, look, let's get straight to it. This is... The Water PDP full size with the Gideon optic and the old light flashlight. Um, I actually asked you guys which flashlight should I run, and I was extremely shocked that everybody voted for O light. I was extremely shocked because I always get so much grief about O light, and me personally, I haven't had any problems. Um, no issues other than the fact that I don't want to run a battery operator anymore. So I actually just spoke with a rep um, by email um, about a collaboration and 
we should be hearing back very soon as far as you know what they want to send out or what we're going to talk about and yeah but man this thing this thing came together nice i know three people that carry a pdp uh my boy trent he uh triple f tv he carries one my boy antonio over at draw defense carries one my boy jones he is not a YouTuber. He's just one of my buddies that shoots with me. He's not really into the whole social media thing. So not going to shout him out. So straight out the box, no adjustments. Huh. How did the Gideon do? Um, with no adjustments, no, no type of zeroing, it did great, actually. Um, the only thing that I really had to adjust was for my um, my vertical, my up and down, and that's because it's it's how can I explain this? It was going. I was aiming center mass, and I was still coming down lower. Um, I even let somebody else shoot it, um, and they said the same thing. I let another instructor shoot it. He said the same thing. So. There were small adjustments to go vertically and it was mainly just having to come up because anytime that i was shooting um anytime i was shooting center mass it was coming down lower and anytime that i was shooting up higher it was giving me like almost center so a few clicks and it started coming together this is my second target as you can see this is where the zero zero start coming in perfectly came together good man i am going to post um a couple videos a couple shorts and i'm going to post a couple clips in this video of me actually shooting the firearm and man i will say came together pretty good um the look of the firearm and you know, overall is great i'm actually planning on sending it over for seracoding and i am going to seracode the optic as well um this will actually be my first time doing that. So this should be interesting. Um, I need some recommendations for um, magazine base plates. And I don't know who I want to run with. I So far, I've mainly been running with Terran Tactical. And that's only because they have the fastest shipping. And I like the design so far. Um, I have it on two firearms right now and pretty good. Um, man, uh, I will say I I was not always the biggest fan of the Walter PDP, but man, this thing shot beautifully today. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to definitely get some more range time in with it. Um, I want to see how it reacts with um, how fast I can get back on center with shooting steel targets, which... I really love doing so hey if you see my videos me and still have a love hate relationship more love than hate but hey you know just enjoy um I want to say thank you to the people over at Gideon for giving me the opportunity to review your optics and send me more I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see you know how this goes um, there are two companies, I'm not going to throw no names out that I will not deal with. Um, I've shot a couple of their optics on other people's firearms and I'm not impressed. Um, as far as wearing, as far as, um, as far as like the, the paint on them, the zeroing, the jumping back onto zero after a shot is horrible. I'm not going to throw their names out there. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably know who they are. Um, I'm not a fan. But like I said, I gave Gideon my fair truth. And I'm going to give them a 4.3 out of 5. And that's only because I can't say 5 for any company. Because you need to find out about... You got to find out about long term. You got to find out if in the long term, is this piece going to hold up? So far, so good. For me to get over 100 rounds, I never lost zero. When I did my adjustments, it adjusted perfectly fine. Um, as far as improving, hmm, 
I don't have anything at the moment, but if I have any thoughts on it, I definitely will speak on it. Um, I have not had it that long. I think I've only had it for like three days and I've only shot it today and it came together good. Like I said, I like the way that it looks. I like the fact that it works. I like the fact that it holds zero. And I also like the fact that it gives me the SRO feel and without the SRO price tag. I do want to see in the long term how it runs. And right now, two thumbs up right now. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll revisit this in another, say, you know, 30 days and see, you know, how the wear is. See if any of the paint comes off or anything like that. As of right now, she looks good. Um I think it's probably going to be about 30 days before I even get a chance to go do my coating job. Um, but we'll see if I can, if my gunsmith, uh, has time, I'll, I'll get it out sooner. Um, I would really prefer to get it out before, um, a next event that I have to go out to because I, I, I would love to show off my Cerakotes. Um, it's going to be the first one I Cerakoted the optic. So this is going to be a first for me. So, Hey, Stay tuned for future videos and what will be coming soon. And right now, <sighs> next weekend, next weekend's video is going to be primarily all around the TTI Canic. And man, I, I just hope it lives up to everything that Canic has been doing already. And right now, I've been hearing a couple couple people say nothing but good things. I haven't seen anybody do a torture test or any real major drills with it. They're just shooting it regularly in standard training. Um, I want to see what it's hitting on. Um, I actually purchased the firearm released on Monday, uh, two weeks ago. And I picked it up on Thursday because I had some crazy guy in uh, Upper Marlboro, Maryland that was trying to charge me $1,500 for the a firearm because he had the optic and he had it on hand. Hey, look, man, do your research. You can go directly over to Candy's website and they'll find you their local retailers. Hey, that's what I did. The first two places that I called, they didn't have it on hand. Um, they said, oh, we can order it for you, but nah, I'm kind of impatient. So <laughs> that's not going to work out. So, <laughs> overall, uh, it, we got it. It just came, it officially came in to Maryland on Wednesday. The very first video that I posted of my canning was in the shop in Virginia that I purchased it from. And I got it shipped over to my FFL. Um, they did not do as what was agreed. I should have actually been able to pick it up this past Saturday. And I wasn't because it didn't. It didn't get shipped out on time. So Maryland has a seven day hold. So even once I got it, I still have to wait seven days. So the other video that I posted the other day of the canic was me signing my paperwork for my FFL. I have a seven day hold. I pick it up this Wednesday. Stay tuned. Oh, second thing. Yes, I already have the optic. I paid retail for my canic and I paid under retail for the optic. Um, I haven't even opened it yet. I will be doing a full review on the optic and the firearm at the same time when I open up everything next weekend. Um, I'm sorry, next week. Um, I pick up the firearm Wednesday morning and I'll have everything put together probably that evening. And I'll post a video, of course. Check it out. Stay tuned for more. And tell me what your thoughts are of the Water PDP. I am going to do the before and after in this video. I'm going to do a couple range stuff at the all this stuff will be at the end of the video so tell me what you think we're gonna go ahead and jump over there to that now hey look it's been real it's your boy jay with lock and load tv stay and watch the few minutes of clip that i do have as far as range video and the before and after tell me what you think like share and subscribe man it's been real thank you